John chapter 1, verse 1. The Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. That's the light that shines in a darkened soul. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible says, This is the message that we have heard and declare it unto you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness of all. If we say we have fellowship with one another and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Second Corinthians 4 verse 6, the Bible says, For God, who commanded the light to shine forth in darkness, has shined in our hearts, to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Now we have this treasure in these earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. So when the Bible says we have this treasure in earthen vessels, Thomas Edison said the whole purpose of the body is to carry around the brain. So when we have this treasure, what treasure? The light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. That where, that's where we see the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. We have this treasure, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God. We have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. For we are troubled on every side, but not distressed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, ever bearing about in the body, here we go again, ever bearing about in the body the dying of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the life also of him might be made manifest in our bodies. And so when we have a look at Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present these bodies, living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Very reasonable when you live in a body that works. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable and perfect will of God. Transformed. It can only happen when we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, because he has promised in Ezekiel 36, 26, he says, I will take away your heart of stone and I will give you a heart of flesh. He said, and I will put my spirit within you and I will cause you to walk in my statues. You shall keep my judgments and do them. That's the key. When you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he takes away the heart of stone. He gives you a heart of flesh. Then he writes in there. And what he writes is his law, his statutes, which allows you to keep the ways of God. And this is why 2 Corinthians 3 verses 2 and 3 says, For ye are our epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men, inasmuch as you are manifestly declared to be the epistles of Christ, written not with ink, but with the finger of the living God, not on tables of stone, but on the fleshy tables of the heart. What a beautiful promise is ours, that God can write that. And so what does it mean when the Bible says that you may prove, what is that good, acceptable and perfect will of God, that we may prove in our own lives, that we may prove to everyone we know that God is good, God is true, and look what he's done for me. So your friends say, what's happened to you? You're happier, you're lighter. I've come to know Jesus. And I've also learned how to look after my earthen vessel, this body. Remember, ever bearing about in the body. I'm going to bed earlier. I'm drinking more water. I'm on a plant-based diet now. I'm making sure I'm breathing fresh air. I actually exercise every day now. You just prove to yourself and see what that will do in your life. Prove to yourself. And in proving it to yourself, you will be able to prove it to everyone around you. It's exciting, isn't it? No wonder God says, 
in 1 Thessalonians 5.21, prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. I have proved it and now I hold fast because it is good.